good day and this is again another video from MC squared coaching center so this is part 8 of uh, algebra so I am engineer Melvin John H. Banzuelo so start the po tayo first problem if you had a choice of salary of $1,000 a day for a month of 31 days for $1 for the first day's work, $2 for the second, $4 for the third, and each day thereafter, for the rest of the month, your salary would be doubled. Which choice would result in the larger salary? Is it letter A, a salary of $1,000 a day? Letter B, a salary that doubles each day from $1? Letter C, both A and B. Letter D, none of the above. Again, if you had a choice of a salary of $1,000 a day for a month of 31 days or $1 for the first day's work, $2 for the second, $4 for the third, and each day thereafter for the rest of the month, your salary would be doubled. Which choice would result in the larger salary? A, one, a salary of $1,000 a day. Letter B, a salary that doubles each day from $1. Letter C, both A and B. And letter D, none of the above. So, solve tayo ng dalawang choice. Yung isang choice, yung sweldo niya is ano, $1,000 a day. Okay? So, kung $1,000 a day and we have 31 days in a month, therefore, yung total salary niya is, total salary niya in a month is $1,000 times 31 days so, total salary in a month niya is 31,000 US dollar. Okay, 31,000 dollar yung salary niya in a month. Now, sa choice 2, i-compare natin. Kasi yung choice 2, nag-start daw siya yung first day is 1 dollar, second day 2 dollars, third day 4 dollar. Kung napansin ninyo, nagdodoble each day yung sweldo niya per day. Okay, so kukunin natin yung total noon for 31 days. And, and then, i-compare natin sa choice 1 in which yung total salary niya in a month is $31. So, kung napansin ninyo, yung choice number 2, masolve natin yung sum ng, or masolve natin yung, yung salary niya in a month using a calculator. Bakit using a calculator? Kung napansin mo, uh, that is first day $1, second day $2, third day $4, fourth day $8. Common ratio nila is 2. So, common ratio nila is 2, therefore, this is a geometric progression. And if that is geometric progression, remember, na yung pipindutin natin sa calculator if geometric progression is mode 3, 5. Okay? Yung e to the x, okay? Mode 3, 5. 5. Mode 3, 3 kasi yung arithmetic progression. So, using calculator, mode 3, 5. So, mode 3, 5 may lalabas sa table x, y. And then, yung i-input natin sa table sa calculator, yung first term natin is 1. Yan po yan. First term is 1. Second term natin is 2. No need na ilagay ito silang lahat. Kasi kung ilagay natin sa table, 1, 2, 3. Ang 3 natin is 4. Ang 4 natin is 8. Ibig sabihin, ang third term natin is 4. 4th term natin is 8, 5th term natin is 16. But, okay na, na dalawang values lang yung, or dalawang points lang natin ilagay sa calculator. After po natin ma-input nito, press AC lang po tayo. Again, press AC. After pressing AC, kukunin na natin yung sum ng $1, $2, $4, $8, $16, $32, $64, and so on, up to sa ika-31st term or ika-31 days. So, para makuha natin, ito po yung i-input natin sa calculator. Paano tayo makaka-input? Galing doon sa table kanina, class. Press AC lang po tayo. After pressing AC, makukuha natin itong summation nito by shift Lag. Itong lag. Pag shift lag natin, ang nakalagay sa calcio is itong summation at saka itong open parenthesis lang. Para makuha natin itong malaking x, shift lag alpha eto. Yan, alpha eto kasi ito yung x. Lalabas po yung x. And then para makuha natin yung y hat, shift 1, 5, 5. Lalabas po yung y hat. And then yung arrow that is shift 
Ito, siyang close parenthesis, lalabas itong arrow, and then 1, and then shift, ito na naman, lalabas itong, ano, and then 31. Bakit 31? Because that is the first day up to the 31st day para makuha natin yung total salary sa choice 2. Okay, sa so choice 2, ito yung nagdo-double yung salary per day. Okay, so therefore, kung napansin ninyo, this is ano, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, this is almost 2 billion yung salary niya. So therefore, ang question, saan yung mas malaki, salary choice 1 na $1,000 a day na fixed lang, or a salary na nagdo-double everyday starting a $1 salary. So therefore, sa dalawa na yan, ang mas malaki is yung choice 2. Okay, choice 2 and that is letter, letter B. Problem number two, the steepness of a beam varies jointly as its breadth and depth and inversely as the square of the length. Find the change of steepness if each of the three dimension is increased by 10%. Is it letter A, increase by te increases by 10%, letter B, decrease by 10%, letter C, unchanged, and letter D, increases by 30%. So, ayan po siya. The steepness directly proportional to the breadth and depth and inversely proportional, pag inversely proportional denominator sa baba, inversely proportional as the square of the length. Okay, as the square of the length. Find the change of steepness. So therefore, itong inversely, uh, itong proportional na, na symbol, pwede natin palitan ng equality symbol and mag add tayo ng proportionality constant. Sa so, kaya, we have... S equals to KBD over L squared, where K is a proportionality constant. Now, ang sabi sa problem, what will happen to this steepness if each of the three dimension, itong BDL, increases by 10%. So therefore, ang new steepness, ilagayan natin S raised to 1 or S1. So S1 equals to K, bakit 1.1? Kasi increases daw by 10%. So, pag increases daw 10%, 100% plus 10%, that is 110%, equivalent in decimal that is 1.1. So, therefore, increases by 10%, we have 1.1b, 1.1d, and 1.1l squared. So, simplify 1.1 squared, then 1.1 squared, cancel, cancel. So, may A1 is S1 equals to KBD over L squared. So, itong new, isubtract natin sa original para makuha natin yung change in steepness. So, S minus S1, pansinin natin parehas lang po sila. So, therefore, that is equals to 0. So, it means, by tignan natin yung original and new, walang pinagbago yung formula. So, therefore, no change or unchanged yung steepness niya. And that is letter Letter C. Problem number three. This is a motion problem. Uh, with the wind, an airplane travels 1,120 miles in seven hours. Against the wind, however, it takes eight hours. Find the rate of the plane in still air and the velocity of the wind. Again, with the wind, an airplane travels 1,120 miles in 7 hours. Against the wind, however, it takes 8 hours. Find the rate. So, ito siya class, distance. This is the time. The time traveled by the airplane with the wind. And against the wind, it, ito yung the time traveled by the airplane. So, remember that the formula for motion is V equals to RT or D equals to RT. Where D is the distance, R is the rate, and T is the time. Okay? Ang rate, yan po yung velocity ng airplane or velocity ng wind. So, in formula, ang, ang usually the technique sa pag-solve ng, ng motion problem is gagawa ka ng table in which the table, ilalagay mo yung D, yan po, distance, R, at T. Sabi sa problem, with the wind, with the wind, distance traveled by airplanes, 1,120. And yung time, it will take 7 hours. Against the wind, 1,120 miles pa rin. Yung time, it take 8 hours. But remember, sa rate po, 
pag with the wind, i-add natin yung velocity ng plane plus velocity ng air. Okay? Velocity ng wind. Kaya, plane's velocity as x in still air plus wind velocity pag with the wind. Pag against the wind, you have to subtract. So, you have x minus y ang rate ng, ng uh, total rate nila pag against the wind. So, following the formula D equals to RT, so therefore, 1120 equals to X plus Y times 7, and 1120 equals to X minus Y times 8. So, in formula or in equation, yan po siya. So, DRT. Okay? DRT. So, sa first, so with the win, 1120, 1120, yan as the rate, yan po yung rate, X plus Y times 7, distribute, so nagiging 7X 7x plus 7y equals to 1120. And this will be our the first our first equation. Then, pag against the wind, yan, 1120, yung rate niya, x minus y times 8. So, by i-distribute natin, 8x minus 8y equals to 1120. So, meron na tayong two equations. If we have two equations na, pwede na natin gamitin yung equation mode ng calculator. Sa calculator that is mode 5-4. Pindot po natin, mode 5-4, and then after natin magpindot ng mode 5-4, input natin yung coefficients ng equation. 7, and po 7, 7, 7, and then 1, 1, 20, and then 8, 8, negative 8, negative 8, and then 1, 1, 20. Pag ganito na yung nakikita natin sa calculator class, press equal. Pag press natin ng equal, isusolve ni calq yung x as well as isusolve ni calq yung y. And which yung x natin, yan po yung place velocity in still air. And yung y natin, yan po yung wind velocity. So, after nito, input natin, press equal, lalabas po na x equals to 150 and y equals to 10. And yung x, the velocity of plane in still air, and y is the velocity, is the wind velocity. And from the choices, and that is letter C. Okay? Letter C. So, I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko. Just a recap, every time magsusolve kayo ng motion problem, first yung gawin, identify the rate. The rate of the airplane and identify the wind velocity. Gaya, gaya sa problem na to, X yung, yung velocity ng plane and Y yung sa wind. Create a table in which sa table mo meron kang at three columns na distance, rate, at time, at two rows na with the wind and against the wind. And then follow the formula D equals to RT. Okay? So, ayun lang. Again, if may tanong, you can add me sa Facebook or message me sa Messenger para makapagbibigay ako ng, ng feedback. Okay? Thank you for watching and do not forget to click subscribe. Para if may mga new videos ako na i-upload, ma-update po kayo. And then do not also forget to share to others para makatulong na rin naman tayo sa mga, sa mga nag-re-review. So again, you, this is an add-on to my existing reviewer, math reviewer na math book ko po. So PM lang if gusto nyo ng copy ng books. And then uh, this is Algebra Part 8 and our next topic is Algebra Part 9. And uh, I hope you enjoy studying. Have a nice day.